Hi everybody, it's Adam and we are at the Heart Valve Summit. We're answering your questions that were posted at heartvalveblog.com. I'm thrilled to be joined today by Dr. Harold Robert Roberts who practices at the Holy Cross Hospital in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The question for Dr. Roberts comes in from Evan. And Evan writes, Adam, specific to mitral valve repair with a robot, are all patients candidates for this surgical technique? Um, I think I can say categorically that uh, no, uh, not all patients are uh, candidates for this uh, type of procedure. However, a large uh, proportion are. Uh, but uh, in order to uh, determine if it uh, is indeed in the patient's best interest to be uh, done through a robotic endoscopic approach, uh, a number of tests have to be um, carried out. Uh, this would uh, include uh, things like uh, cardiac catheterization. Um, patients have, uh, a, say, a severely leaky uh, mitral valve that needs to be fixed, but it turns out that they also have uh, several blockages in their uh, coronary arteries. Well, I don't think this uh, approach is appropriate because uh, then those patients would probably be best served by traditional sternotomy with uh, multiple uh, bypasses and uh, a mitral valve repair at that time. Uh, however, if they don't have significant uh, coronary artery disease, uh, their uh, left ventricle is uh, 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 fairly strong. Uh, you would not want to, uh, because of the additional uh, time required on the uh, uh, heart-lung machine, uh, you don't want to use uh, uh, this approach for patients that have really uh, weak uh, ventricles. Mm -hmm. Those type of patients are best served by uh, short and sweet uh, uh, quick operation. Uh, however, it is uh, quite a safe uh, way to go uh, for patients that need complex uh, mitral repairs. Most uh, uh, patients that have leaky mitral valves, the valves can be uh, reliably and securely fixed, uh, reconstructed uh, by this technique. But you would need, uh, number one, to make sure that they don't have significant uh, coronary artery disease. You also uh, don't want to do patients uh, through this approach to the right side approach, either a mini thoracotomy or the robotic endoscopic approach, if they have severely damaged lungs. And the reason being is that when you go through the right chest, uh, it can transiently make the right lung a little sick for uh, a, a temporary uh, time, maybe a day or two. And if they have a very marginal uh, lung capacity, that type of patient may not tolerate this type of approach. Great. Well, Evan, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me learn a whole lot more. Dr. Roberts, I know you've been practicing now for quite some time in Florida. About how long have you been practicing? I've been here uh, since 1990, and uh, I actually started doing uh, mitral repair after uh, spending a week with Carpentier in Paris back in uh, 1992. So I've uh, gone on 20 years of uh, doing this, and I'm, as you can see by my attendance at this uh, uh, valve summit, uh, it is a uh, passion of mine, and I uh, attend uh, these type of conferences on a, a very regular basis, probably go to at least uh, six to eight of these a year. Right. Well, Dr. Robert, Thanks so much for yeah. stopping by and My sharing uh, your information, your clinical work, and your research with, with Evan and the rest of us. We really appreciate it, and I just want to thank you again. All right. Thank you, Adam.